In this video, we're creating a clustering model using Azure Machine Learning Designer. So clustering is grouping similar items into clusters based on their features. So, you know, an example of clustering is if I type in tacos. And if I go to images, we can see that everything is tacos. So this is all clustered together. And, you know, if I type in pie, I get all pies. They're all clustered together. So this is a cluster. Pie, tacos is also a different cluster. So that's what clustering is. And you know, the data preparation is the same as regression and classification. So you know, in my last two videos of the regression and the classifications, you know, we start off our pipelines with the data asset creation. We input that into the select columns. We clean the missing data, we normalize the data, we split the data, and then we train a model. And as we saw with the classification, we had a bunch of different training models for the algorithm. We can plug different algorithms of regression into our train model. And same with regression, we had different train models. So with clustering, we only have one train model, and that's the k-means clustering. And with that, you know, you can modify the centroids to change the number of clusters. So the first thing we're going to do is open our Azure Machine Learning Workspace and launch our studio. Here we'll head over to Assets, Data, and we'll create a new data asset. For the name, we're going to be doing Seeds. And for Type, we're going to select Dataset Types, Azure Machine Learning V1 APIs, Tabular. From web files, we're going to be using a URL to create a data asset from a single file at a public web URL. For this example, I'm going to be using GitHub user content. We're doing the seeds from this URL right here. I'll hit next. We've got different settings like the file format, delimiters, encoding, column headers, asking if we want to skip any rows. But we can see the data preview. So we're working with area, perimeter, compactness, kernel length, and all different things here. So go ahead and hit next. We've got the schema where we can include or exclude. We've got column names, types, example values. I'll hit next on that. Review and create. So I can see the attributes here. And I'm going to go over to our designer under authoring. Under Designer, we're going to create a new pipeline using classic pre-built components. So on our left-hand side, we got the Data and the Component tab. I'm going to grab my data asset that we created here and drag it out into my workshop. I'll head over to Component, and the same first thing is to grab that Select Column and Data Set. We're going to connect these two, and we can go Edit Column, and I'm just going to use all the columns. So I'm going to hit exit here. So since I'm using all the columns, I kind of don't need this. So I can just go ahead and delete it because then it's not really doing anything. And I don't want to clean any of the data. So we're just going to skip straight to normalize data because because see how we, a good common practice is to have your data asset on top connected to select columns and data set. And then you want to clean out any missing data and then connect the clean data set to the normalized data. But since we're not selecting any columns, we can delete that. Since we're not trying to clean out any missing data, we can delete that. Because we don't want to deal with missing data and we're not organizing anything, the only thing we're doing is clustering data together. We just want to make sure that we're putting tacos into tacos and pie into pie. So I'm going to connect this data output into this normalized data module. And I'm going to double click here and click edit column. And I'm going to select all columns, except we're going to exclude the species. So now I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to exit out of normalized data. And we're going to plug the normalized data module into a split data module. So I'm going to take my transform data set output and input it into my split data and then we're going to do a train model. But since we're clustering, we're not doing the train model. So this one right here, we're only using that if we're dealing with a regression or a classification. But right now we're doing clustering. 
So we're going to grab the train clustering model. And there's only one algorithm, one training model that is going to be plugged into the untrained model data input because it's clustering. So for clustering, we use K means clustering. So we're going to output our untrained model into the untrained model here. And we're going to grab the data set output from our split data and plug it into the data set input of our train clustering model. And we'll go ahead and edit the columns within our train clustering model. And we're going to head and select all columns. Hit save and close out of here. And we're going to be assigning this data to clusters using this existing train clustering model. So we're going to input our train model into the, here. And then we're going to grab our raw data from the split data and put it into our data set here. So now we can use the assigned data to clusters to compare the trained model output and the untrained model output straight from the split data. And next step is evaluation. So we'll be putting our evaluate model at the bottom and we're going to be connecting our data set to our scored data set of our evaluate model. So here we can do configure and submit to create an existing or I'll create a new experiment called seeds. We'll name the display name, whatever you want, job description. And for our runtime setting, we're going to be using this compute cluster for this AKS. And the workspace blob storage is fine. We'll hit next, review, and submit. So our pipeline job has been submitted. So now we can head over to our assets, go under jobs. We can see the pipeline is created here. Click on experiment. And now we can see that our pipeline job is running. So after about 15 or 20 minutes, it's finally done running and it's completed. So I can go ahead and right click, preview the data, and we can see a few of these columns. We've got average distance to other center, we got average distance to cluster center, number of points. So our pipeline, the job is done. We've clustered our data together. And that's all for this video. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And, you know, down below is a link to our Discord community. Feel free to come study with us and have a good day.